Hey everyone, how are you? It's Anthony Sakari, founder at New York State Solar Farm. We are a local residential solar installation company based in Modena, right here in the heart of the Hudson Valley. Our specialty is helping you change the way your home is powered. And this is a little video that I've wanted to make for a while now. It's not so much a tutorial, but a uh, just a, a little glimpse at what the monitoring system is like when you go with uh, our SunPower Equinox system. So let's dive right into it. This is going to be a two part um, video. The first one, we're going to go through the app. The next one, we are going to go through the desktop uh, version of the SunPower portal. So you can view it. Um, on any device, your cell phone or your laptop. The first one we're gonna jump into is the cell phone. Um, so right here, you could see on the home screen, you'll see the moon. Right now, it's 10 o'clock at night when I'm filming this video. Uh, we're getting no solar production, so that is a myth if people tell you that the moon will power your solar system, it will not. Uh, right now, my home is using 3.6 kW, so you could see it starting from the grid um, where the grid is you see the little power lines and it's going into the house so we're using 3.6 kW total now you see on the far left that's where you have the home in the middle you'll have analyze the power and then your profile to the far right on the bottom but on the top if we just cover this home screen a little more you can see right here where it says um, right now right at the top uh, we're gonna click on that and you'll see that it actually shows you today, this week, this month, this year, and lifetime. So let's just click on today. So this will show us the production, uh, the total kilowatt hours that we produce of solar today. So we produce 33.5 kilowatt hours today. I have 36 sun power, 360 watt panels on my roof. Um, my home used 107 kilowatt hours today and I pulled from the grid 73.6. So the difference between what my solar produced um, and what my home used, that's the 73 kilowatt hours that I pulled from the grid today. So why is my usage high right now? Um, it's November 16th, we had our heat pumps on that are heating our house. Uh, we have an electric car that we introduced into our family. So uh, we're also powering the electric car. So that's, um, that's why I have that usage. So at different times of the year, I'm gonna be overproducing in those summer months. Um, and right now, as we go into the winter months is when um, using the credits that I produced, uh, once I go through those credits, uh, then I'm pulling from the grid. We can get more into that in another video. And if that's something uh, you're interested in, uh, how net metering works, please comment down below and we could definitely make uh, a future video on that if, that if that's something you're interested in. So you could see right now, um, in the right now view, where it showed right now, now we're in today. So let's go to uh, this week. So you just get a better idea of uh, what we produced this week. It's Tuesday today, Tuesday night. So um, 75 kilowatt hours are solar produced. The home used 303 um, and we pulled a difference of 227 kilowatt hours from the grid. Cool, so this is that home scene, uh, like your home page for the app. This is what it looks like. Uh, it's pretty cool the way it's got the sun graphic up there um, and shows all of these little di digital images. Uh, it's pretty cool when it rains, it'll show raindrops, sun, um, like you could see here now. Um, when it's snowing, it'll show those different things on here. So let's go into the other view, which is analyze. So in here, you could see um, this is covering today. So you could see um, up top, if you put your finger on the, on the graph here, it'll show you different times of the day what the home usage was. And then you could see that solar. So that solar is that orange there. That's the bell curve that you wanna see from solar. So you could see my system here woke up at 6 a.m. or between 6, around 6, 6.30. And then its top production was around 11.30. We're in those winter months as we're saying now, we're in November 17th. And then um, 
our system started to decline in production around two o'clock. I have an east facing roof. So once uh, it gets towards the end of the day, I don't get as much sun on my roof anymore. And then you could see our system shut down around 3 p.m. Now the cool thing with the sun power panels is they produce really well in low light conditions. Um, that's why we really like those panels. They produce um, really well in the morning time when the sun is rising uh, and dusk when the sun is setting. So you don't need direct sunlight for those panels to produce. So in this grid view as well, you can go to month. So you can see um, what it's producing there uh, on the month view, um, year, and you could see lifetime. So I've had um, my system since 2019. So you can see our production for 2020 and 2021. But let's just go to our year view right now. And let's scroll down a little bit. Here you could see some cool gauges. So you have your home energy mix. So solar energy, we produce 12,000 496 kilowatt hours and the home's usage was 19,025 kilowatt hours. Uh, the home usage total 19,000 uh, kilowatt hours, solar energy. So kind of, this is a whole showing the entire picture. This is breaking down individually. So net what I pulled from the grid was 6,592 kilowatt hours. If you go down a little more, you have your solar savings, uh, CO2 emissions avoided, trees um, planted and fully grown, just all of the offset environmental benefits uh, that your system um, attributed to. So really cool different graphs that you could play around with. I really like the way you could scroll on the screen and just see at different times of the year what you produced. I use this in day mode most of the time uh, just to see, you could see those spikes. Look at that spike right there. That's when, you know, we plug the car in. This was uh, in the morning. I plugged it in. I went out for a little bit, came back, plugged it in. Then you could see got home from work around this four o'clock time frame, pulled in, plugged it in there as well. So it's really cool. Just a neat thing to see. Uh, how the energy is flowing in your home and when you're using that power at different times. So this was an overview of the app, but there's one more thing in here that I wanna show you. If you go to profile, it'll show you your system size, 12.96 uh, kW, that's my system size, shows a little picture of the home in there. But I like this feature reports. If you click on that, highly recommend this if you have a sun power system to click on those reports. If you go in here, you click the little edit button and on this edit button, you could turn on a configuration. So on which day of the month do you want to receive your report? So each month you can get a report sent right to your inbox showing the production of your solar system. Uh, it's great to get these. This way you could just see, I just open it up, take a quick glance. All right, I see a system's producing and I don't have to worry about it anymore. So these are great reports. Uh, you could get these emailed to yourself as well as your spouse or partner. You just put their email address in there as well and you could add other people to those reports. So this was a light breakdown of the app. Now let's look at the desktop version and just see how it compares. So this is the desktop version of the My Sun Power um, uh, platform. So right when you log in, looks very similar to the app. You have your day, week, month, year, lifetime still has, um, you know, you could put your cursor over the graph and toggle around and see the different um, solar produced home usage exported to the grid. Um, you could see here uh, midday around 12 o'clock when you're exporting, you're exporting power to the grid. Um, our solar production was six kilowatt hours. Home usage was 1.78, so at that period of time, we exported 4.24 kilowatt hours to the grid. Uh, you could see here your energy mix, your offset for the day. The app is good, the, the, the desktop version is good for 
really if you're uh, trying to do a deep dive into your energy and look at the month um, and just like dive into different days or really analyze the data, you could export it here. You could see this little button, it exports to an Excel sheet. A lot of the time, what I'll do is I like to look at our lifetime production of the system. So you could see here in 2020, our solar produced uh, 14,813. Um, this year, right now, it produced 12,496. Also keep in mind, uh, there's also another month and a couple weeks left to the year right now. We're midway through November. So uh, I always like seeing that. I also like seeing, uh, look at my home's usage. My usage went from, see when we first moved in, uh, or when we, not when we first moved in, when we got the solar installed, uh, the usage for 2019 uh, was 10,540. And then our usage went up in 2020 to 20,211. And this year, year to date, our home usage is 19.025. So something that a lot of people don't realize is when they go solar, usually that's, that, that's one of the steps in electrifying your home and your life. Something that I've done since I've gotten solar is I've added heat pumps to my home I've also added an electric car to the mix, and I also have more heat pumps getting added to my home, two more that are getting installed in January, which, are, which I'm pretty pumped about. So a lot of times what we do is we wind up having to uh, upgrade people's systems, uh, put expansion systems on and add a couple more panels. So right now I'm, I have um, in the works to add another 12 panels to, to my home here to uh, help offset that added usage that I've added since I put the solar system on my house. Sometimes people call our office up and they're like, our solar is not working. And what we'll do is we'll dive into the data, we'll look at it, we're like, your solar is actually overperforming, um, but your home's usage went up. So that's what, that's what you could do when you analyze uh, this data here. Um, when you scroll down, uh, you could see the current power, obviously. Uh, it's 10 o'clock at night, we're not producing. And here you could see your system is connected uh, to the Wi-Fi. Your system is online and reporting. Always great to see that. Um, bill savings, you have your estimated there. Uh, let me check on this. So this is showing, I don't wanna bore you guys with this, but I'm, I'm wondering what utility rate they use to get that number. Not 100% sure on that because uh, SunPower is obviously a global company, and right now I know utility rates differ throughout different states, so I'll have to check on that and get back to you. You can click on this, see environmental benefits, um, and again, you could set up the custom reporting in here as well. I hope this video was helpful. This wasn't so much a tutorial, but more of a, just an overview of the app as well as the desktop version of the app. Uh, if this video is helpful, subscribe to the channel or comment down below on different videos you would like to see us make. Uh, we really take this personal in helping people go solar and want to give you guys the best information possible uh, when making your decision to uh, switch to solar energy. All right, shine on guys. I'll talk to you later.